I want to see a show of hands of people in the room who's made a New Year's resolution of some sort this year. Wow. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. I want to see who's actually achieved them. Wow. <laughs> You've achieved them. Yeah. Last year. Last year. <laughs> 2014. <laughs> Congratulations. Give them a round of applause. Wow. Wow. I'm talking to you about New Year's resolution. Believe it or not, I've actually made a New Year's resolution for 2014. I've made the New Year's resolution from last year and from the year before and from the year before. All I did was Take the same old this, and this is actually from my notebook. It's in my bag. <laughs> All I did was take the same old list and became creative. So I changed the words, and as my mother in law nicely puts it, I am so good at recycling my New Year's resolutions. <laughs> so, Basically, my New Year's resolutions were the same every year. To lose weight, to be healthier, you know, to eat healthier, to save money, to travel. It's all the same every year. Have I achieved them? You'll find out. Good evening, Toastmasters. Good evening. Good evening. Future Toastmasters. <laughs> Distinguished Toastmaster. Toastmaster of the evening. Good evening. Good evening. So, New Year's resolutions tonight. My first New Year's resolution. When I was a lot younger, I used to be a very, very, very strong swimmer. I actually had my wife watch me one of my swimming competitions. Believe it or not, she had this little crush on me when she saw me wearing those trousers. <laughs> <laughs> and doing the fly, not this fly, that fly, this fly, that fly. I was so good at that. <clears throat> I established a record in my hometown for butterfly stroke. It's one of the hardest things to master. And guess what? I actually mastered it. So, my New Year's resolution for 2014 to bring back that flying shape. Twelve months later, guess where I am? <laughs> <laughs> try as I must, ladies and gentlemen, try hard <coughs> as I must. I can only do so much. Why? because I haven't swam in a long, long time. Very long, in fact. I tried swimming only in September. So, imagine. <clears throat> I, can't, I can't bring back that old shape in just two, three months. It takes practice. It takes dedication. When I was a swimmer, when I was a competition swimmer, I actually woke up four in the morning, run, and actually swim, warm up, warm up for three kilometers before the actual swimming starts. And then after the actual swimming, I would cool down for another three kilometers. So in a day, I would normally <laughs> swim about 12 kilometers. That was when I was my fittest. That's my first New Year's resolution to get back into swimming. My second New Year's resolution. And my mother-in-law again has been nagging me about this. Get in shape, get in shape, get in shape. My wife joins in. Get in shape, get in shape. So I need to know that secret. <laughs> Because it's always, it's always the issue at the household. So my second New Year's resolution is to eat healthier. Twelve months later, 
12 months later. I must admit, ladies and gentlemen, I have, throughout the course of my adult life, I have, and I'm brave enough to admit this, I have developed an eating disorder. I eat this order of rice, this order of burger, I drank this order of soda, I eat this order, I eat this order, and this order. So I've developed a little eating disorder, any order. <laughs> My third New Year's resolution is to go to the gym. Whoa! Imagine this tasted on my shaving mirror, and I look at it in the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna be like you, I'm gonna be like you 12 months later. <laughs> I don't need to show you, right? 12 months later. What did I learn? You know, what did I learn in these New Year's resolutions? First of all, I learned that my mother-in-law is right. She is absolutely right. I recycle things. <clears throat> I don't do them. I just take every year and repeat and repeat. Stop, repeat, stop, repeat. What should I do better? New Year's resolutions need not to be red solutions. They have to be solutions. So in order for you to achieve what your big plans are. And I'm not saying it's wrong to make New Year's resolutions. I'm not saying it's wrong. But in order for you to achieve it and not become like me, <clears throat> make sure that you establish little goals, little chunks, little bite-sized pieces that you can, in fact, take an action to achieve your big goals. So if you ask me, in 2015, what would my New Year's resolution be? I say, I'm not going to have a New Year's resolution. I'm not going to recycle my New Year's resolution anymore. But instead, I'm going to work on the solutions to make sure that my life is actionable in little chunks, little bite-sized pieces. And then my mother-in-law could stop doing her little project on me. <laughs> Over to you.